And what do you know, we're back with another video for the Harvest Right freeze dryer of freeze drying more food. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a few different items, some we've done before, some we've not, and it's some big meal items. We have spaghetti again, that was such a hit when we tried it and we just knew that we needed to do some more. So we made some spaghetti and then of course set some aside for the freeze dryer. Our next item is another meal item of beef stew. Now I realize it's more of a winter food, but I think that it's something that will definitely hold up on the road and it's something that's filling. It's got potatoes, beef, carrots, celery, corn, green beans, I mean, you name it, it, it seems like it's in there. And it's something that's gonna fill your belly, do the job if you're out and about, or if we need it for something else. Our last tray is what I'll call our variety tray. It has a couple different things that I've been wanting to try, but just haven't had enough of the product to put on and fill a tray. Just seemed like the perfect opportunity since we had three other trays full of meal items. Our last tray has multiple different things on it to sample after it's done. We have mashed potatoes, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, and some carrots. We're excited to see how all of this food turns out, so let's move over to the freeze dryer, get it cooled down, and get all of our food in there and start another cycle of freeze drying. So as the routine goes, we are going to go ahead and shut our door and press start to get the unit cooled down to load our trays of food in. So it's been 15 minutes, our freeze dryer has cooled down and we can get our trays in and loaded into the freeze dryer. Our drain valve is closed, our freeze dryer is loaded with all of our food, and we can press continue. Not sure how long this cycle will take since we have some really hearty items going in there and two trays that have quite a bit of liquid, but we'll check back and see, and I'll let you know the amount of time. So after 26 hours of freeze drying, the unit says it is finally complete, and our timing worked out perfectly for a helper to do it. Are you ready to do it? Yeah! Yeah! Let's see how this goes. Of course, to open the door, we have to release the pressure and open up the drain valve. Yeah. And since we have little hands helping us today, we're gonna go ahead and warm those trays because really cold probably doesn't feel good to little hands. So we opened up the freeze dryer and got the food out. How's it look? Does it look good? Yeah. Do you want to try a blueberry? So uh, just grabbing that right there, it definitely stuck to the tray. There could be something said about maybe not refreezing fruit like that. What would you like to try now? How about a raspberry? Same situation with the raspberry, which is kind of disintegrated. Yeah. Mommy wants to try a carrot. There. Oh, that's good. Mmm. You like it? How about a strawberry? Is good. So there could be something to say for using silicone pads um, for the fruit, especially because they're going to be higher sugar content. Um, pretty much everything that we've tried so far, aside from the carrots, has stuck pretty severely to the trays. Oh, that one worked out well. Thank you. So let's see how uh, it goes packaging this stuff up. Hey. 
just going to put in this plastic container at least what I can release and the carrots since they're just a, a good snack just to take and grab and eat. Parchment would have been a good option as well, but you live and you learn. So of course with our new schedule change and a couple things going on here, this might not be the most detailed run through that we've done so far, but uh, I am going to go ahead and do a quick check on our things, make sure that everything is done enough before we turn off the machine and start packaging things. We have somebody busy eating all of the food that we just did, so we will go ahead and take a look at our potatoes. Yep, those are coming apart quite nicely. Our beef stew trays right here. Um, it's pretty much coming up in a complete chunk, so um, I'm feeling fairly confident about that. And this last tray of spaghetti, I can't see in the frame, but let me move it. Um, same situation, so we are good, and we will start packaging while simultaneously turning off the unit. So I have some mason jars here. I went ahead and weighed our beef stew tray, and I will try to put um, some information on the screen about what it was before versus what it is now. And my idea is to put this in pieces and put it into the mason jars and then be able to add water to it in order to bring it back to life at whatever time that we need to. And also some will probably go into the Mylar bags as this is my introduction to try to work on a little bit more sustainable packaging and see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and label our bags here. I have two, one for the spaghetti and one for the beef stew. They are each the 10 by 14 size and uh, I plan on basically putting each of the tray entirely in one of these, in each of these bags. Um, mostly for a larger meal for all of us to share when the time comes. Okay, so we skipped some of the packaging details because it wasn't all that easy, but um, I went ahead and put the beef stews in the mason jar as you saw in the previous and I labeled them with a post-it for now until we get upstairs and find something a little bit more permanent that can be taken off. Someone helped crush the mashed potatoes to get them into our mason jar and Everything will be getting an oxygen absorber except, yeah, except the mashed potatoes. And that's my own personal test to see maybe how they last and, and do. Um, and then we have our spaghetti in here and we have our beef stew in here. We got all of our food impulse sealed and packed up in the mason jars as our test to see how sustainable packaging goes. Hopefully it goes well. I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video of all the things that we got to freeze dry behind us, our spaghetti, beef stew, and mashed potatoes. It was quite a success with a little bit different of a schedule, but uh, that's real life. And um, we thank you for sticking through the video if you made it this far and let us know what you would like to see us freeze dry next. We appreciate you watching and click subscribe to see future videos. Thanks. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. You ready to go upstairs and help Mama? Yeah. You ready to go eat some dinner?